I'd like to review spinal anatomy today. If you look at the spine model, we've got a spinous process, a lamina, transverse process, we have vertebral bodies, which are the bones, between the discs, and we have spinal nerves that send signals from the neck down the arms, from the thoracic spine, down and around the middle back, and in the lower back down the legs. Now one common condition is a disc herniation. If you look here, you have a disc that is, has a nucleus in the middle and cartilage rings around it. It's much like a jelly donut. When the nucleus starts to seep through the cartilage, you can see some of that jelly coming out of the jelly donut. And what happens is when that jelly starts to bulge out, it can cause irritation and compression of these spinal nerves. That can then cause inflammation of the nerve, which can give you pain, numbness, tingling, and weakness. That weakness and all of these symptoms can radiate down the arms or the legs. There are several different types of treatments we can provide when a disc herniates and puts pressure on these spinal nerves. The most frequent type of treatment is called an epidural steroid injection. The goal of the epidural steroid injection is to put steroid, which is a very strong anti-inflammatory medication, right around where the nerve is getting irritated by this disc that's herniating back. We can do three different types of injections. We can do an interlaminar injection, which is an injection going right in between the spinous processes. We can do an injection that's a little more precise called a transforaminal injection, which goes right where the nerve's exiting the spine. And in lower back and tailbone pain areas, we can do something called a caudal epidural steroid injection that puts steroid right around the tailbone itself. The goal for all of these steroid injections is to decrease the swelling and inflammation around the nerves to improve pain, improve functionality, and hopefully get people back to the quality of life they were used to. When these injections do not provide relief, then there are other types of injections or procedures that are possible, including surgery. If you're interested in learning more about pain and spine specialists or how we can help you, please go to our website to learn more about our locations and give us a call.